Hey everybody, today we're going to be making basses that sound like this. And like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been super busy making this uh, animated series slash album that I'm coming out with. If you want to check it out, link's over here. Uh, anyway, let's dive right in. This is fun as hell. So grab you a oscillator. I'm going to use operator. To be honest, with this technique, doesn't matter. Um, all that matters is that you're making somewhat of a high harmonic waveform. We're going to start with this saw. Okay. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to get a redux out. Redux is cool. It makes down sample sounds. There's two modes, hard and soft. Okay. Sounds pretty shrilly right now, but let's go ahead and grab a auto filter. Put it on bandpass mode and jack up that resonance. Whoop. Get something like that going on, okay? So in order to dial this in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the downsampling, we'll leave it on hard mode, sure. We'll set it at like 40. And it's kind of the interplay between the filter frequency, as long as the resonance is high, and the downsampling over here. And, and when you get this combination of things going on, bit or uh, downsampling after uh, bandpass, this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fun kind of sound. Uh, and, and then you can just kind of mess around with different downsampling settings. I mean, if you want a subtle thing. Man, just moving this around, you can get endless basses. And right now we're using a saw waveform. Let's uh, flip it over to a square. All the dub set people are probably like, yay. Okay, uh, and now you can also add some bit reduction to get a little more dirt in there. I don't like it. Uh, you can also use soft, which in my opinion is a little bit more useful. If you're just trying to get a little bit of robot in there. Okay, so another, so everyone's made this sound. Let's try to make some sounds that people don't make, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to group this. When you group a track, you get macro controls, yeehaw, and then you get uh, chain controls too, So, or you get uh, device chain. So I'm going to actually duplicate twice this device chain, okay? So now I have three bandpass filters, and if I play right now, it's going to be horrible. See, it's super loud. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to map the frequency of each one of these bandpass filters to this dude. And now they're all at the same place. If I click through them, they're all in the same place. We don't want that. So let's go over here and set some ranges, shall we? And we'll set some different ranges for each one of these bandpass filters, right? And those, those savvy individuals of you will know what's going to happen next. Now that we have different ranges, as I move this macro knob, okay, each one of these bandpass filters is going to be in a different place. So now we get... A very original sounding thing and now just kind of messing with these you get different results if you leave one kind of deep that it preserves the fundamental and then the other ones you can kind of put closer together and you get this kind of and in my humble opinion I think you should filter the top end out. Some of the, you know, doing this kind of downsampling adds aliasing and audible aliasing. And so if you want to just pull a little bit of that out, I think you get a more palatable sound personally. So hopefully at this point, this has got your gears and your brain starting to twist around. You're like, ooh. Well, in that case, I could... What else can I bandpass filter into in order to get cool sounds? Well, let's try some other stuff out. Let's leave these bandpass filters up. Um, chillin', okay? 
And let's try... I'll leave the auto filter in there. Why not? We'll leave the filtering in there. Let's try instead of Redux, let's try some other stuff. How about a Saturator? Yes. So I like using some of the harsher stuff if you're going to go this route. Um, and what you can do is you can cause some audible distortion here. So essentially what we're doing is a bandpass filter when there's nothing when there's nothing saturating it either a down sampler cuz if you down sample things you are saturating the signal or uh or a straight up, you know, distortion or saturator. Uh you're 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 forcing upper harmonics to come out in this case at least. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to try this with a saturator instead. And I've added and subtracted the same amount of gain, so we should get a nice, big, thick distortion without too much more volume. Let's see. That's without it. That's with it. Okay. So now as we move this around... Oh, yeah. That's fun. And the thing not to forget is that all of these devices are processing sound in stereo. So if I have these chains set up, I can... Uh-oh. Whoa. It's going to create a lot of movement because these each one of these bandpass filters are going to uh, have different harmonic sets as they move through the saturator. Same goes for the Redux. Honestly, in this situation, I kind of like the saturator sound better. And something you can do if you want more low end is to shift the bass down this way. You get more low end coming through. This shift the bass this way, you get more of that low end getting uh, saturated. So this might be a good move to like you know run a sine waveform just straight through, and then just have these guys kind of making the top end right. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's not stop there. Let's think about this another way. So these are bandpass filters, and we're using these bandpass filters to run through fun stuff. So instead, I'm going to turn this uh, Redux back on. And the sound that we get now is... Instead of using bandpass filters, let's think about something else that kind of makes that sound. Just think about it. Like, what, what adds harmonics or what moves harmonics around or what focuses on certain aspects of the sound well uh phasers do so let's listen to a phaser okay so a phaser beep, 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 beep. i'm gonna turn this guy off bye there's an aspect of the sound right there that's sounding pretty you know it's it's bringing something it's choosing something if you if you will uh out of this high harmonic waveform right so let's go ahead and see what happens when we run that through a bit reduction. I'm going to turn this onto hard mode and get just a little bit more there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see where you're going with that. Okay. But if you turn this on space mode, you kind of, it, it, for, for some reason, it tends to work a little bit better. Maybe I'm not really sure what, it, what the wave shape looks like going in, but check this out. Whoa, man. So we've still got that yaw sound. It's almost like hard sync, like stuck on a certain note. That's kind of cool. So then you can just go hog wild with the with the amount because when it's when it's uh, 180 degrees out of phase, you get this cool stereo. If you want to be a true G, just turn this dry wet down a little bit and you get. Get this awesome stereo effect. And then obviously you just want to mess with your. You know what? Come on, Anthony. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. There's a sweet spot. So 
something that's fun to do with this in this situation is to find the fundamental of the song. You know, let's say you're playing something in, let's say we're playing in C. Cool. That's kind of close, right? So, so if the if the riff is in C, now every time you hit C, you get that really pleasing, you know. And then you just mess with the down sampling. And then mess with the auto filter. And then make a comp, maybe you could even make a combination of, of both of them. I'm gonna kind of dial this back a little bit. That's pretty cool. Another thing you can do is, the fun thing about this LFO that this thing has, I'm going to turn this all the way up, is you can put it on sample and hold mode. And if you've got the, you know, the the width set like it was before, you can get these cool stereo. That's <laughs> pretty sweet. I'm going to turn this uh, filter up a little bit so we can get some more of those wacky top end things. Let's reintroduce the uh, band pass. <laughs> Super death. Put this behind here. Anyway, super fun. I uh, hope you had fun watching this. Uh, and you go out there and you make a lot of ya 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 ya